that the recommendation which comes to us, um, you know, it weighs very heavily. I, I will tell you just from myself personally speaking, um, I, I have the utmost respect for Superintendent McGrath and he has earned that respect in the number of years that I've been on this board on countless, countless occasions. However, I disagree with the recommendation that has been, you know, presented to us this evening. Uh, as a board, we are charged with the responsibility to evaluate, either accept or reject that, 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 eva um, that recommendation. Most recently, when there was another recommendation that was made that we did adhere to as a board uh, regarding <coughs> a punishment of a particular officer, um, a lieutenant, uh, we, were, we received from members of the police force uh, criticism for that, that that was too light of a, of a reprimand. And we take to heart that which people tell us, be it members of our police, members of our, our, our public, and recognize whether it's a, a, an officer or a member of command staff that we need to have some consistency. So in careful consideration of all that has gone on and the totality of those circumstances and, and adhering to policies of the Lower Marion um, Police Department, which includes but is not limited to uh, issues regarding the pursuit itself, the, the conduct of what occurred at the time of the pullover, the lack of having a, a body cam on, uh, the circumstances which caused the use of force, the actual use of force, that this totality of circumstances demands, in order for us to be consistent with that which we have done before, a suspension greater than eight hours. In my tenure on the board, other than suspensions which have been permanent, I think the most that's ever occurred is one which has been equivalent to five days. My recommendation is that we have a suspension which doubles that, which would be 80 hours, which would be something twice as much which has happened at least, you know, in, in the past decade. And that that be something that we, you know, then consider so that indeed it is appropriate for the misconduct that we have seen and that it also delivers the, a, a message to those within the police force that, yeah, we've heard from you when we were too light before, we are not now, and that they understand that this is something that is taken with extreme seriousness. Issues of policies and protocols, that we will leave for, for another day and another time for determination. And while there are a number of things that come to mind and a number of responses that I would have to many of the comments that were made here this evening, I will defer that to just having made, made the, the motion that the suspension that this board approved, given the, these set of circumstances, be an 80-hour suspension. 